Okay, everyone, so it is June 20th of 2023. We are around 10 to 11 days, give or take, until Indiana Jones 5 and its box office results really begin to pour in on either, of course, through the internet and media outlets out there, giving you a rough idea of where the success and or failure of this movie is really going to go and exactly at what rate. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. And let's get right into exactly what's going on here with the situation involving, of course, Kathleen Kennedy and Harrison Ford. Now, we know that Harrison Ford is a very blunt guy when it comes to interviews, when it comes to talking about Han Solo and Indiana Jones. I don't know if you guys saw when Harrison was next to George Lucas, I believe it was at Celebration, and the correspondent was asking Ford, are you excited about the Han Solo movie? And he's like, not really, no. And they all began laughing, you know, George Lucas was even laughing about it, but Ford is not joking. I mean, he's very honest in that sense. I mean, he's really honest when it comes to whatever comes to his mind. He doesn't really make it like a joke joke in itself, but it's really like what he believes in. So, interestingly enough, what he had to say about Kathleen Kennedy really puts her on the spot. It kind of puts her in a phase of getting pointed at, embarrassing her, basically, and just really kind of exposing what she did with Indy 5. Let's dive into it. Now, with Disney and Lucasfilm frightened about the turnout related to Indy 5 and its box office numbers in projections, in a recent interview that Harrison Ford took part in, he recently put Kathy Kennedy on the spot and embarrassed her by delivering the following to the community. When I was working on this film, there were times where Kathy was pitching me ideas for the film on set, and all I could say to myself was, then why am I here? Why does Indy need to be here if those ideas come to pass? In which some of them did. Some of the ideas of this film that were made by Kathy and a lot of others of those, like James and Phoebe, I felt were just out of nature to the original three films, to where it did make me ask myself, what and why is Indy here? He is such an old man. Well, I guess, you know, sometimes a producer needs a break. I felt Kathy didn't really promise everything of what she was going to do with Star Wars, and I felt the same way with this film at times. Kathy is a strict type of producer. What she wants, she will get, and worked hard with Mangold and Phoebe on this one. But it just couldn't, I just couldn't agree with this approach on all fronts. There are parts of this film that I wish I had been cancelled or handled way differently. Now let me stop here, alright, for one second. Now, Ford, like I say, he always stumbles upon his words. Uh, you know, sometimes he pauses there, sometimes he has a lot of ums in there. But that's just how he is. But looking to where we are today, he is admitting that what Kathy Kennedy wants, she gets, and that she is a strict producer, and that there are bold decisions that she made in this movie that he did not agree with, and that he felt were, or should have been, cancelled and handled far differently. And he's putting it out there very bluntly that there are points in this movie that you're not gonna like. And going by the confirmed spoilers, guys, uh, one of which I'll say right now, it's nothing major, don't worry about it, you don't have to back out of this one, but there are moments in this film, and he kind of alludes to this in just a second, I'll get to what he says. There are moments in this film where Indiana Jones complains about his shoulder or something about his arm, and they kind of like canonized Harrison Ford's injury on set. So that was basically their way of kind of showcasing Harrison Ford having a lot of pain while filming, and so they figured, let's, you know, make a canon, you know, let's make it an official piece of the story that Indiana Jones is in a lot of aches and pains and, you know, stuff like that. So, moving to the next thing here, you know, we also have moments that were, uh, that came to pass by Kathy Kennedy where Indiana Jones is a broken man, and basically Harrison Ford touches on this. He's gonna talk more about that, and he's unleashing more about the truth about this, you know, piece by piece as we get closer to the release date of Indiana Jones 5. Now, further, he goes on to elaborate. 
People always ask me if I enjoyed Han Solo or Indy better under Lucasfilm recently, and I can just say they were basically the same roles. I don't want to go into many spoilers, but let's just say Kathy made Indy into a broken man, and I wasn't really in support of that. There are times where I just feel like I'm not playing Indy, but I'm playing myself. I don't know, it's just, um, I guess I'm old and I don't feel like Indy anymore, so I guess in their mind, what made sense was making him a broken man, emotionally and physically. We do have some nods to my aches and pains in this one. Kathy wanted that, and Phoebe did too. I don't know if that will work with the audience, but yeah, there you go. Now, again, as we talked about earlier about the Indy 5 spoilers, a lot of the decisions that are made in this movie are decisions that are made by Helena, um, there are moments of dialogue that you would feel would be made by Indiana Jones, but it's Helena's dialogue instead. So in a way, she is Indiana Jones, not in the literal sense, but maybe in spirit at times. And that's going to bother a lot of fans, because not only does this character Helena Shaw have cringy dialogue that really is like an in-your-face type of dialogue, but it also has dialogue that is meant to be given to Indiana Jones, but it's not spoken by him, it's spoken by Helena Shaw. That's the problem that I think a lot of fans are gonna have about this movie, and also problems that Harrison Ford was dealing with. He alludes to that, of how basically they made him into this character just along for the ride, and not really guiding the ride, right? So again, as we talked about earlier, the opening of this movie, it's gonna be a catcher. It's going to be like a big fish hook on a fish's mouth where you're going to get dragged into it thinking that Indy is going to be a very great movie and a fantastic phenomenal masterpiece in the beginning because, minor spoilers, that's where you get the de-aging stuff uh, firsthand where it does feel like, you know, Indiana Jones. Kind of similar to what they did with uh, Terminator Genesis, I believe it was, where they kind of de-aged or CGI recreation, or they recreated Arnold and recreated the first Terminator film, and then boom, right after that just goes downhill. So anyways, it's kind of similar to that. It kind of hooks you in and it's a bait and switch. Harrison Ford, to say the least, does not seem enthusiastic. Now to be fair, he's never enthusiastic usually. He's always kind of like, you know, very monotone and grumpy on, you know, on interviews and stuff like that, and also on late night. But I will say this, he can be funny at times. He's got that joking matter sometimes where he can be a little bit of a comedian. He hasn't been like that lately. He's been very, very, like, just flat. Just very stagnant in personality. And I think a lot of it has to do with just him doing this for a paycheck. Honestly, at this day and age, at this point in time in your life, at 80 years old, I would be thinking more about my legacy than a paycheck. I would have left things off the way they were with Indy 4, and I would have refused to have even returned for Indy 5. I would have told Kathy Kennedy, you know what, do whatever you want to do, recast, do some CGI work, whatever you want to do, but I'm not coming back. I'm going to take a stand and stay where I am to defend my legacy. That's what he should have done. But that's just my two cents, guys. Anyways, I would love to hear your opinion and takes below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys next time. <laughs>